Oh, it's a biggie. It's a biggie. I just got back from the Isle of Mull in Scotland where I was doing a bit of work and a lot of fishing from the rocks, mainly for mackerel with sabiki rigs. But after getting a bit bored of hauling out strings of mackerel, I rediscovered a lure I hadn't used for a long time, which is this, a knife angled perk or jig. When I first started trying to make homemade layers, this was probably one of the first layers I ever made. And stealing shiny things from the kitchen is a very old idea in fishing circles. I actually bought a dozen table knives from the local recycling centre on the island and it cost me about £3. To quickly turn them into lures, I drilled a hole with a 3mm high speed bit, just where the thin blade meets the handle. And then with a junior hacksaw, I simply just hacked off the blade. Just to take off any sharp edges that I'd left behind, I used some 120 grit paper on a sanding pad. To add the connections, I threaded a solid jigging ring onto a split ring before clipping that onto the handle via the hole I drilled. For hooks, I went down the assist hook route. I didn't have any assist cord with me and there was none really available on the island, so I ended up using some 30 pound mono. And for hooks, some size 1 O'Shaughnessy's, just standard fare. As I was there for a few weeks, I really did some experiments with using different knots and different methods to tie these assist hooks, but I've really settled on my favourite, which is using this small tool, a nail knot tool. This is something I picked up on eBay for a couple of quid. I've never really found a use for it until now. I've actually got another knife handle here, and I thought I'd just show you quickly how I tie the hooks up. So first off, I'm just gonna peel off a bit of line, and I can lay that in the channel on the tool leaving a good 10 inches hanging over the end. Then I can just get a hook and place it over the top and hold it in place with my thumb. The line's held in that slot underneath and I can just make about four, possibly five wraps and hold them with my finger while I push that tag end through the gap. To get all that onto the hook shank, I'm just pulling up the knot tight and then I'm gonna snap it on. Then I'm pulling this down the shank towards the eye. I want to twist that so the line is coming off in front of the eye. Then I can trim the tag end. To add another hook to that line, I'm measuring about one and three quarters of the length of the knife handle. I can hold that position in my fingers and then cut another nine or 10 inches off again. Then it's just repeat the knot. I can lay the two hooks back to back and kind of stagger them and hold that position while I tie a single overhand loop knot. This can then just be simply looped into that solid ring and it should leave me a hook somewhere near the middle of the blade and one at the rear. The final thing to do is just to add a swivel to the split ring to attach the line to. So that's really it, it's a very basic down and dirty method for making some great fishing lures and using them on the Isle of Mull chasing Pollock was just another story. Walk with me, we'll go somewhere only we can meet, I will speak Slowly but surely so you can lead All oh, that I never lost faith in our eyes Locked and lost in this world we thought was high. I did have a whole monologue planned for the end of this vid, but I'm not sure anything I could say would compete with that place. I think I'll just enjoy watching it myself. Thanks for watching. Gets faster with eyes running circles round the time. We are ourselves to be quiet amongst the little guys. Sweetly about
all the little things you say sweetly about all the little Broken still, won't you mend me with a bit of super glue? But I'll always be broken hearted because I was away when you broke, fell from heart sinking, you'd be okay.